So there's always a couple of cows that stay in the barn throughout the summer. Sometimes it's an injured cow. Um, usually Mona, the oldest cow, stays in the barn also. So they stay in here at night and then they're out in the nearby fields uh, during the day. Uh, and we're cleaning out that side of the barn today. So we've got to get this all cleaned out, washed, and then put back together so they can come back in here tonight. Um, as well as the horses, they stay right here. You know, there's kind of a problem with these videos. This is Swiss farming through my perspective, and I'm just a worker. I'm a part-time stay-at-home dad, part-time farmer, and I also make these videos. The days that I'm working on the farm, I'm mostly working normal business hours. These videos are filmed during that time, but that's not really the whole story. Farming is not a nine to five job, it's a 24 seven job. When we think of farming, at least cattle farming, we think of making hay and feeding the animals, but that's not all of the work. There's a lot that has to happen behind the scenes. In my opinion, this is one of the more challenging parts of being a farmer. On a farm, there's always something that needs to be done. There's always things that need repairing. There's always brush that could be cleared. And when all else fails, you can pull weeds. On a farm, there's a never ending supply of work that needs to be done. And there just aren't enough hours in the day to get it all done. Prioritizing different jobs to make the best use of your time is important but it's also challenging. Doing maintenance on the barn is great, but if you really should be out fertilizing your fields and you're working on the barn, it could hurt you in the long run. But then on the other hand, if you never get around to doing maintenance on your barn, things start to get pretty run down. When there aren't enough hours in the day, there's always a give and take. You have to choose how you spend your time wisely, but you also have to work a crazy number of hours. Farmers' schedules vary a lot based on the type of farm and also the time of year. Crop farmers may work really long days during the spring and fall for planting and the harvesting, but then have a much lighter schedule in the winter. When you're taking care of animals, there's always work to be done. Animals have to be looked after every day. You don't get days off especially in the winter when all of the animals are in the barn. It's a lot of work feeding them all, taking out all the manure, making sure they have fresh straw to sleep on, and so on. For dairy farmers, cows have to be milked once in the morning and once in the evening, every day. Sunday, Christmas, it's all the same. You can't skip. According to this 2016 farming census, Swiss farmers work an average of 67 hours per week. And many farmers have part-time jobs off the farm as well. Okay, so the next step is going to be pressure washing the railings and then we will start pressure washing everything down here below as well. The farming schedule is hard on the farmers, but it's also hard on the families. It's not easy for a farmer to leave his animals and go on a summer vacation or go camping for the weekend. It's not like you can just call up your neighbor and be like, hey, can you a uh, cow sit for me this weekend? I got like, uh, yeah, 50 cows that all need to be milked and fed and, you know, the manure needs to be taken out. It'll take you, you know, a few hours a day. It's no big deal. Oh, yeah, Fiola's been a real problem lately. Uh, you know, you got to watch out for her. And I almost forgot, Mona's been sick. You got to make sure she gets her medication. It's no big deal, but she'll kick you if you're not careful. Unfortunately, it's just not that simple for somebody to come by and take care of your animals. According to the 2023 Agricultural and Forestry Statistics, since 1975, the number of Swiss farms has been cut in half. And driving around Switzerland, you can see it. There's a lot of barns that no longer house animals. Now, this is not a unique thing to Switzerland. Many other countries have seen similar numbers, especially smaller fields are going away. And farms are getting larger. Now, there's a lot of reasons that this is happening, but at least here in Switzerland, the farmer's schedule is one of the big ones. It becomes increasingly hard to justify the long days without breaks when you can just work a normal job get a little bit of free time in the evenings, be able to do stuff on the weekends, and then maybe even have a summer vacation, all while at the same time making as much or more than you did on the farm. Now, is there any solution to this problem? I don't know. But small mountain farms are one of those things that makes Switzerland, Switzerland. They're kind of special. If they all go away, It'll be kind of sad. I've gotten all this done. It's not 100% perfect, but uh, we've run out of time. We've got to get the animals inside. Uh, first though, kind of made a mess here. So we've got to get this cleaned up before we can bring the animals in.
we got this all squeegeed out um, and it's ready to go. We're gonna let it dry a little bit before the cows come in. And then uh, while we were doing that, Eric and Eloise here, this is Eric's father, Eloise, um, uh, brought, some hay, uh, brought some straw down and now Eloise is spreading it out for the cows and the horses to sleep on. So all the straw is stored up above us here. And then as it's needed, we push it down. Um, it's on both sides. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, drop a comment. That's always appreciated.